One man's trash is another man's art. To open people's eyes to just how badly our waste is hurting the oceans and the wildlife dependent on it, like albatross birds who mistake plastics for food and choke to death, the Surfers Artist Collective, Skeleton Sea, turns our garbage into sculptures. This year and next, they are taking this playfully serious exhibition on a global tour with the Volvo Ocean Race. The garbage that we see, it's it's great material, it's plastic that will, will last for a long time, and it is material. So, to be creative with these things, it's a challenge for all of us to not to look at it as just garbage, but as material, and we can do something with this material. Skeleton Sea also organizes workshops, encouraging race village visitors to become garbage artists themselves. The art material is collected at volunteer beach cleans, held at all the different stopovers where anyone can join in. The Skeleton Sea Partnership is one part of the Volvo Ocean Race campaign, Keep the Oceans Clean. The goal is to raise awareness of pollution and threaten sea life in the oceans. The ocean is a key part of the Volvo Ocean Race. For sailors, the ocean is their home, it's their workplace, it's their source of inspiration and it holds such an important part in their daily lives that we wanted to do something that was relevant and, and to incorporate a message that, that is important to us as an organisation as well as to the sailors, to all the audiences we meet. I hope that, that children especially take home that message about keeping the oceans clean, about not littering and thinking twice about the way that their actions can impact the ocean. Um, and if that's the one thing that happens, children change their perspective about how they act, then I will be very happy.